Let's take off then tonight, First Thessalonians chapter 1. And it's about honoring God for you and for me. Because we must honor him in terms of whatever it is we're, we're pressing through. I like the idea at times, although it doesn't feel good, when we press through because at the end of the road, we can kind of look back over our shoulder and say, wow, we did it. We made the day. We, we, we got through it. And we came through unscathed. And yeah, it was God. You know, I was, just this very day, today, I, I have so many tasks sometimes, it seems, in front of me. And I was just, it was, and I'm thinking to myself, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> they're not going to go anywhere. They're still going to remain in front of me. So then, of course, the Holy Spirit says, now tackle them. Go at them. You must, I say, go at them. They're not going to go, they're not going to go away on their own. You must complete them. So I began doing the little ones first. And as I began to do the little ones, I came up on the most larger task. Some I was able to do, and I still, I say, I still had time to praise God. I had to begin to thank him and give him praise for what was already done. And what was before me and what I was going to get done before tonight, Bible study. And I asked them along the way, God, give me a word for the people. Give me a word, oh God, even for me. Give me a word, oh Father, that your church will be edified. So saints of God, we all, I say, we all must continue. What did we say? A good fight of faith. So I'm excited about these kinds of challenges in our lives. It lets me know that God's still on the throne. It lets me know that he cares about us so that we can see our way through. Oh, saints of God, just praise him with me tonight, if you would. Honor God. And then we're going to honor God for you. Again, First Thessalonians says, chapter 1, we give thanks then, always, for you all. And I'm so grateful for that. And you know me, oh, I love to turn on the love and the mushiness about you because it's all about you because without you, there's no me, so to speak, as you know, because God is doing a work in you. And believe me, when he does a work in you, that's a reflection on me. So it's a wonderful thing. So then we, we are always giving thanks to God for you, making mention of you in our prayers. It's our bound duty. It's, a requ it's mandatory for us to do it. But it's, it, that part of our lives is easy to pray for you and to stand. To, to, to be there for you in the spirit and pray. In prayer, supplications, and request. This is, this is anointed and ordained by God to do. Here's something, here's something I want you to keep in mind. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith. That's the key. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith. Yeah, just like today. It was hard for me to push on, to push forward, so to speak. But I had to. I had no choice. So I picked up the phone and I began to make that call. I began to do another task that was all been needing done. And I just start doing it. And lo and behold, the end of day came. So labor of love, he says, labor of love and patience. Of what? Of hope. And hope is what? The Lord. Of hope in our God and our Lord Jesus Christ. In the sight of him, our Father. So, saints of God, this is a wonderful thing. To be able to stop sometimes. In the midst, I say, of all of the stuff that's going on in our life, all of these little foxes, so to speak, that tries to spoil our vine. But we're not going to be moved by that. Because God, I say, is always on the throne watching us to see us through. We know, we know 
And you know, it's not easy sometimes. But nevertheless, you know that God is pulling you through it, bringing you through it, bringing you up, bringing you out, bringing you over. Oh, somebody. We have to remember who we are, actually, that we are his in Christ Jesus. Greater is he, what? Always. Greater is he that is in who? You and me that is in the world. We have to endure the world, don't we? And deal with all the world's isms, isms, things that they throw at us. The enemy, we know the devil, oh, the prince of Persia, we know he loves to try to stop blessings. We know that. We know that the prince of the airways, if he's the prince of the airways, he's trying to hear what you're saying or your, your loose tongue, so to speak, on the airways. The enemy gets that and, and, and does things with it. We know that he's the prince of this world. See, when you begin to understand and know who he is, then you can do what? You can bind the prince of Persia. If you can imagine in your mind binding the prince of Persia, binding the prince of the airways, and binding the prince of this world. When you do that, you can also imagine in your own mind how they are bound, tied down with chains, meaning they can't hinder or stop you or your blessings that God has sent to you. That is already on the way. That has been released to you. And you lose, I say, all the angels of the Lord, holy God, all the heavenly hosts, the Holy Ghost, mm. the ministering angels that they can minister to you through all of this. You lose the wonderfulness of God, the blessings and bind the curses of the enemy. Knowing, beloved, then, brethren and sisters, you are God's elect. You are his very own. When you begin to grasp this, things don't look like as bleak as you may want them to be, or you, it seems. The enemy is a camouflage. We, we, we get that. He only can use what you tell him. So be careful what you speak, as I mentioned last week, over the airways. You know, let your conversation be yay, yay, and nay, nay. Anything other than that is evil. So then you've got to straighten up your tongue. Loose lips sank ships. We've heard that many times. So we must begin to speak. Speak the word only. Speak what God wants us to speak. Jesus says this in the scriptures. He says, God only came for those that you sent me. I only speak what you have ordained me to speak. When you speak, I speak. When I speak, you speak. And the word is performed. The word begins to what? Work for you. For our gospel, then, you need to understand. Did not come to you in word only, notice, but also in power. Notice the word, then the power, and then the Holy Spirit. Because when Jesus left, he, he left with the word. Amen? Because he came walking with the word, but when he left, he gave us the Holy Spirit. So now we not only have the word to work for us, but we have power in it. Then we have the Holy Spirit to comfort us and to lead and guide us. Oh, this is powerful, isn't it? I know it is because it's the word of God. See, you have to understand this and much assurance, as you know, what, what a man and woman, we are among you and you among us, for the Lord's sake, for his great name's sake, we do this. Oh, tonight, saints, the word is simply this. It's not only honoring God, but tonight it's to encourage you in your faith. And you say, Pastor, I didn't know I need some encouragement. Yes, you do. You've been experiencing some things that just are not, not quite normal. And God simply saying, I'm with you, and I, 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 I will never forsake you. I will never leave you. I'm with you. I'm going to not only bring you through this, but you're going to come out of it smelling like a rose. Your victory is going to be as wonderful as the Hebrew boys when they came out of the furnace. Saints of God, listen to me. 
Therefore, brothers and sisters, in all of our afflictions and distress, we were confident by the Holy Spirit. Even in it, we were confident by the Holy Spirit. Concerning you by what? Your faith. For now we live if you stand fast in the Lord. For what thanks can we render to God for you? For all the joy with which we rejoice for your sake before our God. Saints, night and day, night and day, praying exceedingly that we may see your face. Oh, hallelujah. Perfect. Perfect. Perfected. And what is lacking in your faith? We want your faith, your face to be perfect. And what is lacking in your faith? So we pray that not only tonight you receive the encouragement in your faith, but in the process we're honoring God in our faith. This is what it's all about. We must begin to understand this and what God is saying. So therefore, I pray, you pray, and we here at Abaca praise for you. Even that's why I started out praying for the Bible study, because we are, we are a masterpiece of God's prayer. We've learned it. We know how it works. We must, I say, must not ever slack. We must not ever rest on our laurels. We must continue to be faithful in our prayers for one another. We must continue to see the goodness of God, the mercy, the signs, the wonders, the truth, the grace that Jesus bought us. We must continue. We must remain blameless before him when he comes. This is what God is saying tonight. This is why he's saying, you, you are running a good race. You are fighting a good fight. Oh, somebody, you are enduring. You're not quitting. You're not giving up. You're seeing the blessings of God. Now, may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ direct your ways. Direct our ways, Lord. Direct our paths. And may the Lord make you increase all somebody. This is good. Receive this. So I'm receiving this blessing right now, Pastor. And may the Lord make you increase and abound in love to one another and to all, just as you do. Just as you do. And do you. So that he may establish your heart blameless. And the holiness before our God and Father at the coming, I say, of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the saints. Oh, that's a beautiful thing to look forward to. But God is using us right here, right now. Hallelujah. Knowing that we have a greater victory coming in our lives. But he's going to give us victory in our everyday lives. Completing those things. Those things that are set before you running a good race, oh, making sure that that lap is completed and that next level is on the way. So you're stronger now. As a song, wiser would say, you are God, made in his image. You have now have the authority and the power to not only succeed, but to be great. Again, I say to you about your own ministry, what is your ministry then? Your ministry is simply that which God placed in you. That goodness to be used for you and for others. To be a blessing. Because if you don't use your blessing for someone, it will become a curse. So you must, I say, minister and be a good soldier in Christ Jesus. Because you do not, I say, want your very blessing to be a curse. You know the old saying, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So let's take what God has given us and apply it. We can't beat God's giving, we understand that. It's the same way with you, dear ones. Ministering in the ministry, what God has given you. What God has for you is for you. But there again, it's not really for you, it's for others. You are to be what? 
you are to be blessed to be what? A blessing. Just as Jesus gave his life for us, he gave up everything for us. He was always giving, wasn't he? He was always giving. And he taught us the same. He came as a servant, as I mentioned in the past, but he taught us how to serve. Oh, somebody, this is really good stuff. Endure then, I tell you the truth. Endure suffering along with me as a good soldier in Christ. Oh, somebody, and Christ, soldier, do not let yourself become tired of an affairs of this life. There it is. For then you cannot satisfy the one who has enlisted you in his army. Lord Jesus, follow the Lord's rules for doing his work. Just as an athlete either follows the rules or is disqualified and wins, he wins no prize. Hard working farmers are the first ones to enjoy the fruit of their labor. They enjoy the harvest. Think about what I'm saying to you tonight. The Lord will give you understanding in these things. I don't want you to ever forget it. Never forget that Jesus Christ was a man born in King David's family and that he was risen from the dead. This is the good news I preach to you tonight. Saints of God, I pray that God has spoke to not only to your mind, your heart, but to your spirit, that you can honor God and the process be encouraged. Fight the good fight continually of faith, knowing that everything is going to work out for your good. Oh, saints of God, it's in Jesus' name that I pray and give him thanks for you.